Hello friends, welcome to Wellness Wednesday videos on Health Q channel. In today's video, quickly I'm going to share with you five daily to-do things in order to improve your state of physical wellness. Yes, physical wellness is a state where you not only stay disease-free, but in a state of a good physical well-being and in a good state of muscle strength, in good state of uh, an immune body, and in good state of a well-balanced fit body. So these are some five simple, easy things to do. So what are this? Let's begin. So the first thing that you should always do in order to maintain a good physical well-being and that is to drink loads and loads of water. Make sure to drink at least two liters of water in a day. Uh, you can divide your time, your portions accordingly. But the best way of doing that is setting up alarms or is make sure that you fill up your bottle and you empty that bottle in three hours. Three hours. So there are many ways to do this. You can find whatever that fits for you. But make sure to drink plenty and plenty of water. Also avoid sugary drinks because more of the caffeinated and sugary drinks you drink, it dehydrates your body and also leads to other inflammatory issues in the body which impacts your physical wellness. So that was first thing to do. Now let's, uh, let's move on to the second thing that you should do on a daily basis and that is exercise. Now exercise doesn't mean that it has to be only yoga or it's only pilates or else you should hit the gym. The basic idea is you have to stay physically active. You can choose any kind of activity that you prefer doing, that you enjoy doing, that you like doing. It could be either a functional wellness or else a functional activity where you are staying physically active using the functional task that you have chosen to do for yourself. It could be uh, doing physical activities while cooking or else doing home chores and at the same time also doing some activity blending it around. You can again go creative here but make sure to stay physically active on a regular basis. The third activity and that is eat healthy and balanced diet. Now this is a no-brainer. I know this five points sounds very regular. You must have heard it everywhere but this is a quick checklist and quick reminder to make sure that you add up these points in your mind if you are planning or else wanting to improve your physical state of wellness. So when it comes to balanced diet, it's good if you go vegan, but it's okay. Uh, it's good if you turn vegetarian, but if it's okay, you are not vegetarian, you can include non-veg in your diet, but make sure to include the food that is less on fat. So instead of going for junk food, eat healthy food instead of eating fried food eat steamed food these are certain ways with which you can cut on the calories you can cut on the bad fats that you should not consume in order to maintain and have a good state of physical health and well-being include more vegetables more fruits more nuts in your diet in order to gain a good state of physical well-being that takes me to the next and the fourth point which is get a good night's sleep yes sleep is very important and many of us are sleep deprived just because of the added pressure added stress that comes throughout the life so meditation is one of the very good way with which you can get good sleep so make sure to add meditation in your routine apart from that you can read books or else if you stay physically active eat right automatically you will get good sleep and the fifth point is wash your hands regularly. Now this is very important at this point of time as we are living in this COVID era where hands are the biggest source of transmission of coronavirus inside our body. So make sure that you avoid touching your face and you wash your hands on a regular basis. So friends, I hope this quick checklist went through quickly in your mind and if yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members because everyone should be reminded of this five things to be done, especially, especially during this point of time. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit a thumbs up so that I will get an idea that yes, you are liking the wellness videos. And what other kind of videos you would like to know more about, make sure to add in the comment section below. On that note, I will end this video here. See you in Friday where I will come up with some video that's related to muscular aches and pains. So if you want to know what's that video about, make sure to check this channel out on Friday again. See you till then. Bye-bye.